Hi everyone, I'm Bria from Extractuarial, and today I'm going to be telling you whether the concepts that you're learning on exam P and FM are actually used in actuarial work. So if you didn't know, I have worked as an actuarial associate uh, for about four years now in a small, well, medium-sized life insurance company in Canada. And I actually just created a video about that. I'll link in the description below. Um, you might want to go check it out. But I think it's interesting to actually know whether the concepts that you're learning on exam P and FM are actually going to be used when you start working in your actuarial, actuarial career. So the answer is yes. They are used, and although you don't really have to do all the calculations like you would on exam P or FM, uh, you really have to understand the concepts. You have to know what, what the tools and everything that we use uh, to calculate reserves and do pricing for our insurance policies. You have to understand what those tools are doing, and in order to do that, you really have to understand the concepts on exam P and FM. So in that video that I talked about earlier, I talk about a tool that we use called AXIS. And what AXIS does is it is able to project into the future all the cash flows that we expect to have in the future. So what I mean by that is that if we have one policy, let's say, for a life insurance contract, um, we'll use a whole bunch of assumptions that are embedded into AXIS and using those assumptions and all the char characteristics of the policy, AXIS will be able to project out in the future expected cash flows. So it will, it will give expected payments that we need to make and it'll include expected expenses that we'll need to make. So it requires a lot of probability and financial mathematics. So in order to explain that a little better, I'll give an, a, a specific example. So let's say that um, the probability of someone dying is 50% next year and the probability, sorry, let's go with 25%. The probability of them dying next year is 25%. So that obviously means that the probability of them living is 75%. And if we have a life insurance contract for a hundred dollars, it's a pretty small one, but let's just use a hundred for our example, then in one year we're going to expect 25% times 100 to be paid out. That's the payment that we expect to make because we're going to pay one hundred dollars when someone dies and there's a 25% chance that this person will die. So that that's how we'll use probability concepts that you'll learn ex in exam P in real life. Now, trust me, when you're using AXIS, it's way, way, way more complex than that, but that's just a really simple example, and it's important to understand how everything's working. Um, now, in the on exam FM, you'll learn things like discounting, and AXIS does something, basically the same thing, it discounts all its cash flows so we know the time value at time zero. So if we just think back to that example that I was talking about um, where someone will have a payment of $25 at time one, let's just say for simplicity that the present value of that at time zero is $20. So we're going to have to buy an asset right now, a bond maybe, that will pay us $25 in one year. And the value of that asset is determined using the concepts that we learn in financial mathematics, or that exam FM. So this, this example is very generalized and simple to understand, but in reality, it's way, way, way more complex. And it's important that you're able to apply the concepts and stuff that you learn on exam P and FM and really use them in your actuarial, actuarial work because you will need to understand those. So I hope this video helps a little bit. Um, if you're studying for exam P or FM, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to get more videos. 
See you in the next one. Bye.